Barron Trump made a rare appearance alongside his parents on Friday morning, having apparently been allowed to miss a day of school in order to join the President and First Lady on a trip to tornado-ravaged Alabama, before heading on a weekend trip to Mar-a-Lago. The 12-year-old towered over his mother as the duo walked out of the White House to join Donald, 72, who addressed reporters before the family boarded Marine One to start their trip to Alabama. Barron, who attends school in Maryland, looked subdued as he walked across the South Lawn with Melania, 48, who appeared to be in great spirits, and was seen smiling and waving at the cameras as they made their way to the waiting helicopter. Her happy mood was apparently shared by her husband, who was seen grinning at the First Lady as she walked to join him on the grass, looking chic but casual in a pair of gleaming white $100 Adidas sneakers, and a pair of $188 Burgundy J brand jeans. Melania completed the low-key ensemble with a white knitted sweater and a navy blue Tommy Hilfiger pea coat. She also wore a pair of dark sunglasses, despite the gray and cloudy weather. Baron, meanwhile, was dressed in a warm $368 Polo Ralph Lauren coat, which he wore with a pair of beige kinos and matching New Balance sneakers. As he and Melania met Donald on the lawn, the president actually remarked how much his son has grown, telling reporters, he's getting big, while pointing proudly at the youngster. The first family then turned towards Marine One, with Trump placing his right hand on his wife's back in a sweet show of affection before guiding her across the grass towards the helicopter, with Barron following on behind them. The president was dressed in a navy windbreaker, complete with the presidential seal, as well as a pair of beige kinos, much like those worn by his son, and a pair of dark brown shoes. He was also seen carrying a red MAGA hat. Donald, Melania, and Barron are heading to Alabama this morning to visit towns touched by recent storms and were seen boarding Air Force One at Andrews Air Base, before touching town at Fort Benning on the Georgia-Alabama border a few hours later. The first couple is expected to visit rural Lee County in eastern Alabama, where 23 people died Sunday in a tornado with 170 mph winds, however it is not known if Barron will join his parents for their visit to the area. Donald and Melania were seen leaving Air Force One shortly after its arrival at Fort Benning, However their son was not seen with them, suggesting that he will skip out on the official engagements and reunite with his parents before the family flies to Florida. Barron is currently enrolled at a school in Maryland, where he started 7th grade in the fall of 2018. The school does not appear to have a half-day or holiday scheduled for Friday, which indicates that Barron may have missed a day in order to join his parents on their trip. After visiting tornado-struck areas in Alabama, Donald. Melania, and Barron will fly straight to Mar-a-Lago, where they will spend the weekend soaking up the sun, alongside Don Jr. and his girlfriend Kimberly Guilfoyle, who is celebrating her 50th birthday this weekend. It is thought that some of the president's other children will also join them in Florida, where Trump will host two evening events, a joint fundraising committee roundtable and a reception for Trump victory, a Republican National Committee operation working in tandem with his 2020 re-election campaign. The first family's exact Alabama schedule was not shared prior to their departure on Friday morning, however it is thought that they will leave for Palm Beach by 3 p.m. CST. Today, President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump will travel to Lee County, Alabama to survey the devastation from the recent tornadoes, meet with survivors and local officials, and thank our brave first responders, the White House said of their trip as they departed. Please like comment, and subscribe to channel. Thank you for watching my video.